In Matthew chapter 16, Jesus tells his disciples, the Son of Man is going to be arrested. I'm going to be betrayed. I'm going to be crucified. But three days later, I'm going to die on the cross. And then in verse 23, Peter responds to Jesus. Listen to these words. It says, Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said, this shall never happen to you. I have to almost laugh at the irony of that statement. I can't imagine a more contradictory sentence. Never, Lord. In other words, you're in charge, you're the leader, you're the Lord, but you have to do things my way. And a lot of us can feel that temptation at times to say, Lord, I want to follow you as long as following you is the path of my choosing. But listen to the words that Jesus said in response. Jesus turned and he said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Wow, those are some harsh words. He said, get behind me, Satan. But I don't think he was calling Peter the devil. Jesus was looking right into the spirit that was motivating the words that Peter was speaking. He was recognizing that the enemy always wants to entice us to satisfy the earthly desires, the path of least resistance, in the same way that he offered Jesus in the wilderness a crown without the cross. Here he is tempting Peter to desire God's will be done outside of going to the cross. And and Jesus says in the next verse, an invitation to all of us, but it's a powerful message. In verse 24, it says, then Jesus said to all his disciples, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Can I encourage you, especially those of you in this season of fasting with us, when we're fasting, when we're sacrificing our earthly and fleshly desires, it's an opportunity for us to call out that spirit that tempts us, the flesh and Satan, to pursue human desires. And it's an opportunity for us to be concerned about the things of God. Let's go after him today.